used AI to upscale it. So in this case, we have a 1080p video, about 12 megabits per second. You can see that it's a little bit soft and a little bit muddy in some of the details here, but if we apply RTX VSR to the video, then it sharpens up and it, it retains more details in the image um, without introducing additional artifacts, right? Um, so this is a great way of taking older video, or like I said, like a low bitrate or a low resolution video, and basically making it much clearer and look much more modern. Now, the problem is still that we have these amazing displays, 4K, high nits, you know, HDR certified displays, but a bunch of videos out there are SDR. So we came up with a new technology called uh, RTX a video HDR, and what it enables you to do is basically convert SDR video to HDR. And so that runs live, and so that means that you can now turn on HDR in your operating system, and then turn on this option, any video that is detected in the Chrome Edge browser or VLC uh, can be basically up-converted to HDR. And what this is doing is it's using AI in order to expand the color space of the video. Mm -hmm. Now, um, traditionally, if you were using like a HDR filter or something like that, mm -hmm. a few things that you would expect. One is banding because you're taking that 8-bit color space and expanding it to 10-bit, you're like ex uh, re extending the differences between the colors, and if you don't have some way to fill those, you wind up with these lines and bands. Mm -hmm. we, are using H we are using AI to basically deband. That's one thing. The other thing that we're doing is we're analyzing the image in order to detect areas that should be dark versus areas that should be light, and to ensure that you're expanding the color space and not shifting it up. And so what that means is that areas that are intended to be dark in the image do not get blown out. Mm -hmm. That is what we consider a true HDR effect, mm -hmm. right? So um, this is really cool, but the problem is, is that what if your device is not connected to an RTX uh, GPU, right? Uh, you know, not everyone's going to connect a separate PC or have a separate PC connect to their TV, right? And your tablet and your phone, like all these other devices, they do not have RTX inside of them and there's no way to, to add an RTX GPU. So what we're doing is we're partnering with DaVinci and bringing these same technologies to DaVinci Resolve. So then you can take clips within your timeline in your videos and then add uh, HDR effects to them and so on, and also VSR effects. So for example, if you zoom in here, you can see that now in the super scale uh, functions, there's uh, NVIDIA RTX VSR, so you can add uh, you know, uh, AI upscaling to the video to make it higher quality. And then in the colorization settings, you can add a node to the video in order to add uh, go from SDR to HDR. So this is those like one-click solutions in order to be able to uh, create videos that are now higher resolution or you know less artifacting and um, and HDR as well. And so this is going to be great. The other great thing about this is because these processes were designed to run at real time, right? Not some real time video um, that's being processed. It doesn't add a lot of time to your encode process. So traditionally, when you wanted to add uh, HDR, if you wanted to add um, let's say detail or resolution to the videos, it would like double the amount of video processing time that it took in order to create the video. So it's like if I had a video at home um, that I was trying to convert to a higher resolution, it would basically take like two hours for every one hour video that I was processing. Because this process is so lightweight, it'll take the same amount of time it did before. So really great feature and now you'll be able to like update all your Plex movies <laughs> in, the, in your local cloud and so on to be uh, both HDR and higher quality and then view on any device. Mm -hmm.